Hi guys, welcome back to another fun filled video with Karen Zima. Now today I'm going to show you how I created this lovely painting. It's a very colorful, it's portrait, it's abstract, mixed with reality. The emotion is intense, the look in her eyes is just very serious. And I called this one, um, Colorful Dreams, that's what I called it because she looks like she's daydreaming and there's so much so much color in the background in her skin that colorful dreams just came to mind. I thought it was pretty appropriate for this painting. It's on a 24 by 30 inch canvas done in acrylics. You stay tuned and I'll show you how I did all these wonderful colors. If I can do it, you can do it. So stay tuned. I'll show you how. I'm going to try and make it abstract. Now, it's very experimental, so I don't know how it's going to come out. Hopefully, it's going to come out well. Um, some of the colors I put out for this project. I have my black and my white in the center. Here's a harvest orange, a lilac, a baby blue, a hot pink. Here we have like a marshy green, kiwi green, a cadmium yellow, and a medium blue tone. So, we're going to start with the eyes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is mix up the eye color. Let's get our white. Put some baby blue in there. And then we're going to warm it up with a hot pink. Possibly some orange. Oh. Put that around her eye. There we go. And I know it looks dark, but we are going to lighten it up. Some of those dark tones will stay at the top in the corners. Because that's where it is darker. Alright. Put my hot pink in there for now. And I'm going to go along with the edge, edge of her eye. With a darker pink. And I love working, I love working the eyes. Uh, I've got to make them intense. Somehow or other, they got to pop. Otherwise, don't call it a success, and I light it out for the most part. Either start all over, or let's uh, start all over. Oh, there's a nice brush, nice little detail brush. Now I'm going to get some white, and I'm going to tone these eyes down. I'll start here and here, just around in a semicircle. Not all the way up, just like halfway down, blend it out, semicircle. Alright, I think it still needs to be up. Now I'm going to get the dark black and just take this whole eyeball and color it in black or iris, let's say. Then I'm going to go about halfway down her eyeball. Try and get it as round as you can. like they're popping pop right out. <laughs> but we're going to get, it won't look like that for long. Let's get some black and 
put in above it. Just, just like that. That way it has a casing and they're not popping out of the socket.
now. I refreshed my palette and I put out a lot of fun colors there. It's very colorful. We have a bright yellow, like a flesh and a coral, a white, uh, like an aqua, a black, a medium purple, there's a kiwi green or like a bright green, cool blue, a bright red, and like a terracotta color there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun making our face kind of abstract. And let's start with, let's start with the, let's say, let's make the brush strokes, like I said this way. And just put in some colors and tones, just to give it texture and life, different type of technique. And you're going to put layers and layers of these colors all over in her face. Let's see, it'd probably be brighter. It's like a cheek area here. So let's go and put some orange tones in there. gives it a very interesting effect. Now let's use the terracotta. Maybe there, a there. Bring out some shadows in her nose.
guys, I think I'm going to call it quits on this. Step back, take a look, see if there's any areas you want to keep working on. Give that thumbs up. Calling it quits. Very happy with the way I did all the brush strokes coming this way while she's looking that way. It's a good effect. It's one that I uh, just, I think, really works for this piece. And uh, this is an experiment, but it worked out pretty good. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, give it one of these. And until next time, keep on practicing. Bye-bye.